Auzu billahi mineşşeytanirracim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the article series, we, we are doing the third video. Uh, before this, we talked about the position, we, we talked about the definition and kinds of articles. Today, we'll be talking about the position of article A and N. What is the position of an article? Where it's placed in a sentence structure? and how its position remains changing and remain changing with the passage of you know, uh, uh, sentence structure. Let's talk about the position of the indefinite articles. Well, article A and N, as you know, they are indefinite articles. A and N, A oblique uh, N, is an article, so it belongs to the class of determiners. Earlier mentioned what is actually a determiner. A determiner is a word that signals the coming of a noun in a sentence. But uh, it's not like an adjective or an adverb that describes and that qualifies a noun or modifies a noun. These articles just tell about the nature of a noun, what is actually a noun, whether a noun is a uh, singular noun or a plural noun, a uh, definite noun or an indefinite noun, a uh, countable noun or an incountable noun. So earlier mentioned this determiner. As a determiner, its position is before the adjectives. Well, article A or article N, both are used sometimes before an, art before an adjective, uh, sometimes before a noun but sometimes after an adjective as well. We'll be talking in, the, in detail in these rules. I'll be telling you the rules. Inshallah, you will get it from here. Well, if we give a sentence like this, the position of an article before an adjective, here, this is a good book. Here, word good is an adjective, and book is noun. In this sentence, we clearly understand that this article cannot be put before good and book noun and adjective whenever we have a noun phrase like a good book an article is usually placed before an adjective so this is a good book not this is a good a book that will be a wrong sentence in the second sentence she is an intelligent girl Intelligent and girl. Intelligent is again an adjective and girl is object or a noun. We don't put like in the above sentence, in the first sentence, we didn't put article between good and book. We put article here in the same manner before an adjective, intelligent. So it's clear adjectives take article before them in some sentences when they are not pre-modified. And in the second in the second rule, an article A and N is placed after pre-determiners. Means we have some words, they are called pre-determiners. Whenever we use these pre-determiners in sentences, they are they usually take article after them. So A and N is placed after pre-determiners. Who are these pre-determiners? Pre-determiners pre like many, much, rather, quite, and what? These are some words. Many, much, rather, quite, and what? These are certain words. They usually take an article after them. For example, what a man he is. Here, what is a predeterminer? A is article. Man is noun. He is again pronoun, uh, is, is a verb. So article is placed before a predeterminer and a, a noun. Okay? This is not like, we cannot say sentence like this. Not a what man. It will be a wrong sentence again. And in the second sentence, many a man was injured. Again, injured is an adjective. Was is verb. Man is noun. A is article. Many is predeterminer. So many after it takes an article and before noun it goes in a sentence. We cannot say sentence like this as we didn't use uh, the same sentence. We didn't use article in the above sentence like uh, what man. So we cannot say um, a sentence like this. 
a many men and the third example this is again clear she is quite a beauty here quite is a predeterminer and a is article beauty is adjective beauty जैसे एडजेक्टिव है तो इसे पहले ही आर्टिकल लगेगा लेकिन जब क्वाइट हो सेंटेंस में क्वाइट हो तो क्वाइट के बाद ही लगेगा इट इज एन एक्सलमेटिव सेंटेंस लाइक शी इज क्वाइट अ ब्यूटी हेयर द सेंटेंस हैज अ प्री डिटर्मिनर इन इट सो इट विल टेक आर्टिकल आफ्टर इट नॉट लाइक सेंटेंसेस Uh, here is a here is a uh, sentence that I have made deliberately to make you understand. Not a quite beauty. We can't say a quite beauty, but we say quite a beauty. This is understandable. It gives a kind of citrus. It gives a kind of accentuation upon the sentence. is becoming more uh, more more weighty, more momentous. And again, in the third example, third rule. A and N is placed after adjectives when they are pre-modified by as, so, to, quite. So, इससे पहले हम adjectives के पहले लगाते थे article, but यहाँ पे adjectives adjectives के बाद लगेगा. यहाँ पे article adjectives के बाद लगेगा क्योंकि they will be a bit exclamatory sentences like here. We have a sentence like this. Uh, how fine a place it is again how how is here as i earlier mentioned uh, this is a pre modified how is pre modified fine is an adjective a is article place is again noun it is pronoun and it is is verb so isse pehle noun se adjective se pehle article aata tha lekin is sentence mein article adjective ke baad article aa gaya it is clear sometimes uh, an article a or n can be placed after an adjective but sentence changes its kind of you know uh, changes its mood so in the next example it is too absurd an answer Now in the in this sentence, it is too absurd an answer. Now look here, it is pronoun, is is verb. Too is here again. I said pre modified. Absurd is adjective and answer. Now and is after absurd. So it's clear that in this sentence, adjective has been preceded by an uh, by an as an article. Answer is. Again, on noun. Pause. Now, usage on the basis of sounds. Very interesting. Very interesting. You feel very much relaxed when you go through these, you know, lines and sentences. Usage on the basis of sounds. Sounds की बुनियाद पे कैसे हम a और a और n को इस्तेमाल करते हैं? Like the choice between a and n is determined. By the initial sound of the word following it, यानी जो भी लक्ष्य, जो भी नावन या adjective आए sentence में sometimes adverbs, तो उनसे पहले article का लगना उनकी आवाज पे निर्भर करता है, यानी depend करता है. Then if the word begins with a consonant sound, consonant sound, यानी consonant sound की हम बात करते हैं, we are not talking about the consonant uh, letters. अल्फाबेट जो है इंग्लिश अल्फाबेट इसमें कुछ अल्फाज जो हैं अल्फाबेट में कुछ लेटर्स कॉन्सनट कहलाते हैं कुछ लेटर्स वोवल कहलाते हैं जैसे ए ई आई ओ एंड यू इन्हें हम वोवल लेटर्स कहते हैं दे आर नॉट वोवल साउंड्स दे आर लेटर्स इसी तरह कुछ कॉन्सनट लेटर्स हैं As uh, in the alphabet, we know B is a consonant sound, T is a consonant sound, F is a consonant sound, G is a consonant sound. So similarly, we are talking about the usage on the basis of sounds. So if the word begins with a consonant sound, अगर कोई लफ्ज इस कोई लफ्ज शुरू होता है कॉन्सनट साउंड से यानी ए ई आई ओ या अ साउंड से ना शुरू होता हो तो उस वक्त क्या करते हैं वी यूज ए हम आर्टिकल ए का इस्तेमाल करते हैं इफ द वर्ड बिगिन विद अवल साउंड 
अगर रवि कुमार अल्फाज वोबल साउंड की बात में कर रहा हूं आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट द लेटर इफ द वर्ड बिगिन विद वोबल साउंड देन ए एन इज यूज एज एन आर्टिकल फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए प्लस कॉन्सनेट साउंड ए और उसके बाद से कॉन्सनेट साउंड लेटर की बात फिर से मैं कह रहा हूं लेटर की बात हम नहीं कर रहे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द कॉन्सनेट साउंड फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए एज एन आर्टिकल इज यूज बिफोर अ वर्ड बिगिनिंग विद अ कॉन्सनेट साउंड ए हम तब इस्तेमाल करते हैं जब कोई लफज शुरू होता हो कॉन्सनेट साउंड से एग्जाम्पल्स मैंने दी हुई है इधर अ बुक बुक बिगिन विद कॉन्सनेट लेटर भी और साउंड भी सो ए बुक अ कैट इट इज सी and uh, it's not the sound is not consonant vowel sound it is a consonant sound so we use normally a as an article and in the third example a dog a is an article and d is a consonant letter and sound so it is uh, a is used before it and then a fan to fan jab hum bolte hain fan ka f yani f jab baat karte hain to f कॉन्सनेंट लेटर भी है और कॉन्सनेंट साउंड भी तो ये इससे पहले ए लगेगा इससे पहले ए ले लेगा ये एन नहीं लेगा तो नोट कुछ चीजें हम बतानी जरूरी समझेंगे नोट नोट मीन्स एक्सेप्शन मीन्स यू विल हैव टू कीप इन माइंड वर्ड्स बिगिनिंग विद यू एंड यू मोस्ट 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 ऑफ द टाइम्स दो वर्ड्स दैट बिगिन विद यू एंड देर साउंड इज नॉट a sound it's not a sound it's it it's it sounds like y y sound like this y sound in such cases what we actually do have an a uh, have an initial sound y means when a word begins with a u or eu and this u or eu has a y sound not a sound then what we actually do we use they take article a before them inse pehle article a lagta hai examples maine di hui hai unit unit is actually a word that begins with u u is a vowel letter but sound is not vowel sound is just a consonant sound so we'll use a unit then again there is a word utensil utensil so utensil may be u se shuru hota hai lafz it's not actually a vowel sound though it's a vowel letter but it's not a vowel sound so we cannot use an before utensil we use for such cases we use a as an article then again we have a word union u n i o n u n union ya union ka jo pehla letter hai ye u hai अगेन ये वोवल लेटर्स में आता है लेकिन साउंड इसकी यहाँ पे ये साउंड है अर्लियर मैं वर्ड बिगिन विद यू आर ई बट हैज ये साउंड वी डोंट यूज एम बट वी यूज ए एज एन आर्टिकल अगेन वी हैव हेयर अगेन अ वर्ड यूटोपिया यूटोपिया बिगिन विद यू एंड ए इज पॉसिबली यूज वन अदर वर्ड बिगिनिंग विद ई यू For example, unek, e u n e u n u c h, unek, and it is eulogy, e u l o g y. Means this word unek begins with e u, and this word eulogy begins with e u. So article a is used before such words in order to make the sound balance. Okay, then the rule third, o, o pronounced. like w means when a word begins with o but the word has not a sound means not having the vowel sound it has w sound w sound w w w sound is uh, that's a consonant sound so it will definitely take after before it a cons before it a you know a as an article sound acha so such words take a before them unse pehle hum a lagate hain to examples dekhte hain for example we have an example here uh, a one eyed man a one eyed man see this o begins with the word begins with uh, one begins with vowel letter o but this o has not uh, the o sound it has w sound so it will not take 
a n but it will uh, rather it will take a as an article so a one eyed man a one eyed man so one eyed man uh, one means you know w ki awaaz de deta hai to isse wo consonant sound hai to isse pehle a lagega again in the second example a one rupee note a one rupee note one yani one ki awaaz w se shuru hoti hai डब्ल्यू जैसे दिखती है तो इससे पहले ए आर्टिकल लगेगा अ वन रुपी नोट और इन द थर्ड एग्जांपल वी हैव अगेन हियर अ वन एक्ट प्ले वन एक्ट प्ले ओ हैज डब्ल्यू साउंड सो इट विल टेक ए बिफोर दिस यू नो वन विल टेक ए बिफोर इट एज एन आर्टिकल सो दिस इज क्लियर दैट वी हैव कंप्लीटेड यू नो साउंड सिस्टम Uh, and the usage of an article and in the next lecture in the next video we'll be talking about the vowel sound and an as as an article thank you